David joins us live in the studio now with more on the Cordish Slots Crusade. David. Marianne, David Cordish has been going door to door for just the past couple of weeks, 500 or so and counting. His wife often goes with him. He says he plans to campaign in the evenings and on weekends through Election Day, November 2nd. David Cordish is a man on a mission. Hi, how are you? I'm David Cordish. Hi, how are you? He's perhaps the most well-known and one of the most successful developers in Baltimore. I don't know if you know much about how much revenue is involved and how many jobs. Yet here he is, knocking on doors, soliciting support for a slots parlor to be built next to the Arundel Mills Mall. And property values go up. Right. Uh, uh, taxes will go uh, to the, to the right places. This sweat equity comes from a man with the means to hire someone to brush his own teeth. He says the first year of operation will generate $400 million for education, $35 million for Anne Arundel County, and create jobs. It's 4,000 new jobs with a preference to the people that live here in the county. Cordes chose the mall after considering buying Laurel Park, citing several studies indicating the site will generate the most money. He plans to create 6,500 parking spaces there as well. You locate next to the one, number one tourist destination, 14 million people. That's what people want. They want to be able, when they gamble, to do other things. We need jobs. The Cordish Jobs and Revenue campaign is necessary because mall neighbors, who oppose slots next door to them, teamed up with the Maryland Jockey Club, which wants slots at Laurel Raceway for a petition drive. And Arundel County voters will now decide, and if they vote no, slot zoning starts from scratch. It doesn't make sense. It needs to be in a location by itself. The battle over slots in Anne Arundel County is being waged on the TV airways, too. Cordish considers the anti-slots ads misleading, pointing out his venue is a standalone facility and not inside the mall. Cordish contends this million-dollar TV campaign is partially funded by Penn National Gaming, which already has a slots license in Cecil County. It's illegal, it's impossible. In the state of Maryland, you can only have one license. Cordish filed a complaint with the Maryland Lottery Commission seeking sanctions and requiring Penn National to stay out of the Anne Arundel County fight. But rather than take immediate action, the commission asked for guidance from the state attorney general's office. Cordish maintains voting no on question A will be a giant step backwards. To get this back in gear, the lawyers who we've heard on both sides have said five years minimum, Mm. It means five years, you're talking the state's lost two billion, two and a half billion dollars. Two and a half billion dollars because you're starting from scratch. The state attorney general's office says although they don't usually assign a deadline for an opinion, it is aware this issue is time sensitive. Penn National sought a delay in getting a license until the pen opinion is rendered. Its slots parlor is scheduled to open September 30th. The next meeting of the Maryland Lottery, Lottery Commission is October 22nd. Reporting live from the studio, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.